I'm at the Tampa Convention Center. We're just leaving an educational session at Southern Exposure on blockchain technology. I think probably a year ago, most Americans still had not even heard the term blockchain. In the last three months, we can't get away from it. There's a torrent everywhere. What is it and how did it come on so fast? Well, I think separating what we've heard about things like cryptocurrency from what blockchain technology as a distributed decentralized ledger is the first thing we need to make sure that as a business community we understand. The best part of it is it's reinvigorating the conversation around data sharing. Right, So blockchain is about bringing parties together in more of a network system than a linear chain system actually in real time so that we can have visibility to the same data and we can make effective business decisions based on that data. Well, one of the things we think blockchain will do is allow us to have access to digitized information about the food system at every step along the farm to fork continuum. Today, the way information about the food system is captured is often in paper. We did a pilot using mangoes as a proof of concept, and we captured information about how mangoes flow from farm to our stores on the blockchain. Prior to doing the pilot, we did a traceability exercise. We wanted to see, in a package of sliced mango, how long does it take us to trace those mangoes back to the farm from where they're grown? How long do you think it took us to do that, using the traditional methods that are used today? I would say maybe 48 to 72 hours. It took us six days, 18 hours, and 26 minutes. After we worked with our supplier and their suppliers to put all the digitized information on the blockchain solution, we were able to do traceability back to the farm in 2.2 seconds. Food traceability at the speed of thought. And we'll give one other example, um, say uh, organic certification. So maybe Walmart has a customer that's concerned that the berries say they're organic. How do I know they're truly organic? Blockchain provides the opportunity for the, not for Driscoll's, but for the certifying authority to load that certificate up that says it came from this ranch, this ranch is organic certified. And if, if Driscoll's and Walmart decide to share that with a consumer, then that's a vehicle in which we could share that. So the consumer can say, yes, I in fact can see the certificate, I know they're organic, and then they feel comfortable with their purchase. Blockchain has the power to transform transactions the way the internet transformed communications. But at the end of the day, this is not something for people to fear. This is not some scary new technology that's gonna come take over the world. It's just a better way to share information. At the end of the day, blockchain is about trust. And what it does that I think is so fantastic is it takes a lot of the investments that have already been made, whether it's investments that you've made in digitizing data, whether it's investments you've made in standards like PTI, whether whatever the information, the investments that you've made, blockchain then allows you to really realize value on that by going from, hey, this is the information that I have in the four walls of my organization that I can use to understand my customer, and instead say, this is the information on the entire end-to-end -end transaction from farm to end customer, looking at what happens and how can we improve the experience for the end user based on cooperation by all of the participants in that supply chain. Blockchain enables that with trust. At the end of the day, I think a lot of us are going to be trying to figure out for a long time just exactly what blockchain is. In the meantime, we're all going to be using it. In Tampa, Florida, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD-TV.